Hey, hey everybody. Happy Sunday. Uh, I hope you guys are staying warm in this frigid weather out here in Houston, Texas. Uh, I guess winter decided it was finally going to show up. So here we are. <sighs> wow. What a weekend it's been. Um, you know, it's been kind of crazy for me. For those of you that have kind of been following me, I've kind of been in a little bit of a, a itsy bitsy teeny weeny little bit slump. Um, and today I just, you know, all of those chains were broken and I wanted to share with you guys, um, you know, what, what I did, how I made that work, how I made this switch and this transformation. Uh, and part of it is our topic of discussion today, knowing when to take a flipping break. Um, so, you know, I think it's really important that we mind our mind, um, you know, as I said before, we're our biggest critic, or at least I know I am. And sometimes I put guilt on myself, guilt for feeling down or not feeling 100% all the time. Uh, I feel guilty about, you know, let's say not making a video or not making a post or, um, you know, not being super excited to go do X, Y, and Z. And I think a lot of the times we put this pressure on ourselves that's not really necessary, it's self-inflicted. And it's so important to be in tune with how you're feeling. Um, this is a new thing, and I think especially in this day and age, we get so wrapped up in all of the demands that we, we have to do. Um, you know, we have our, our phones on us all the time, and I know if you guys are like me, I feel like my phone is constantly chiming or buzzing or something, whether it be emails or Instagram or Facebook or a text message or your phone's ringing and it's just like sometimes it's like time the heck out I gotta revamp some things because this is stressing me out uh, and that's what I really did today and it really brought a great sense of peace to me and I want to encourage you that if you're feeling overwhelmed or fatigued or just stressed in general. These are really crappy emotions to feel because it, it wears us down. Um, you know, I'm a big believer and if I'm not 100%, I can't be 100% for somebody else. No one's gonna make me be 100% other than me. So sometimes it's important to say, you know what, I love you, but I gotta take a time out because I gotta make myself right and I gotta make myself full and fulfilled and rejuvenated and that's what I do every week when I go to Lakewood Church and that was actually the topic of today's service was putting up limits, putting up boundaries. Um, when we do that, we're able to, to zone into ourselves, to turn out all distractions and I think it's so important to do this because we've got our personal demands on ourselves, demands that others put on us, demands that work put on us. We have so many demands coming on us to try to just push our happiness and joy down. Um, and you know, I think sometimes we get so used to these routines, so used to this pressure that it becomes a part of everyday life until you look up and it's like, oh crap, I'm having a panic attack and I don't know why. Well, you know, that's why we have all these demands on us. And I think it's just so important that we, we take a step back and we rejuvenate ourselves and we refresh ourselves. Because again, if we don't, we're going to be living in this state of depression and anxiety and unrest. And that's such a shitty place. Excuse my language. That's just a shitty place to live. And I, and I just want to, again, encourage you guys when you're feeling overwhelmed, we have the power to change that. We have the power to focus on what we want to. And part of that power comes in realizing when to take a time out. When to say, I need to refuel myself and I need to refresh myself and I need to get back to uh, just being who I am. Um, you know, and that's what I did today and this whole weekend that you guys have kind of heard me talking about. You know, I'm putting myself in an environment of positivity and joy and, and glory to God. You know, I went to church and you know, I've just had so many people reach out to me and, hey, Jen, keep it up. And, you know, you're doing a great job and, you know, blessings with you. And it's just so awesome when you develop a support network, even, you know, with these videos. I've had so many of you guys reach out to me and just cheer me on. And it means the world to me. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. It's, you know, I'm human and I'm real and I'm just like you guys and I deal with crap. <laughs> 
unfortunately, as much as I'd like to think that I'm invincible, uh, I deal with crap, um, just like you. And so, you know, I, I just focus on ways when I'm doing that, I've learned to be in tune to myself. So take a time out sometimes, take a step back. And if you're feeling uneasy, if you're feeling anxiety, if you're feeling depressed, if you're feeling unlike your normal self, you know, for me, I'm super bubbly. So when I have to work at being bubbly, I know that there's something, there's an equilibrium off. So I want to encourage you this Sunday to, to take a time out, to take a step back, to refuel yourself, to rejuvenate yourself. When you do that, you can feel good. You can just feel a total sense of being uplifted and rejuvenated. And then you're able again to attract good things and good things just overflow and it's just awesome and everything's just fantastic again. Um, but you have to take a step back and be in tune with yourself. I think we get so caught up in just everyday life of doing and going that it, you know, we don't pay attention to the little signs until we have those massive panic attacks um, and anxiety attacks. And just, you know, you look up and you're like, whoa, where did all this negativ negativity come from? And you know, all this crap is being, you know, happening in my life. What the heck is going on? That's your warning sign. Take time out, take time out. <laughs> it's time to take a step back. You've got to declutter some things in your life. You've got to refocus, refuel, rejuvenate, and then, and only then, everything starts to be refueled, and you feel refueled, and you feel good, and you feel just, yes. <laughs> so the whole message of today was just to take the time out, to be in tune with yourself, rejuvenate yourself. It's okay to take a time out. It's okay to take a pause. It's okay to take a step back. It's so needed. So I encourage you today to do that, to love yourself, to love everyone else. And just, you know, if this busy, if this video resonated with you, please, you know, as always, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I seriously enjoy and love doing these. I get so much out of you guys reaching out to me. Um, it just, it fuels my fire. It's something that it just, it just, I can't have words to tell you exactly, I, I don't know, it, I just love it. I feel like this is somehow tied to my destiny. So thank you uh, for you guys to letting me have this venue uh, and this outlet to, uh, to, to speak and, and to hopefully motivate and inspire and all that wonderful stuff. So I hope you guys have a fantastic Sunday. Again, please check out my YouTube channel, like, subscribe, leave me a comment. And until next time, I will see you guys later because it's time to these muscles. Y'all have a good one. <laughs> Bye.